Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Really nice day today, but it was pretty chilly. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Our live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We still have clear skies out there, so I'm not tracking any rain showers or snow showers. <laughs> At that time of year, we can see a few flakes every once in a while. Our threat tracker for tonight and tomorrow in the low level. However, there is the chance for some steady rain later in the day tomorrow. I don't think it's going to be uh, too much of a trouble. And then on Monday, staying in that low level. Downtown Providence live pictures. Busy night in the city, looking nice and quiet. Oakland Beach in Warwick, good visibility here. We're looking on off to the south and toward the southern part of the bay, toward Jamestown and Newport, nice and quiet. 47 degrees there at Oakland Beach with a wind from the north northeast at four miles an hour. Smithfield, 40 degrees, a lot cooler there and a lot cooler in Taunton. Look at that. 33 degrees, already down to 36 degrees in New Bedford, 43 Charlestown, Coventry at 40 in the capital city. We've got 43. Now the satellite radar picture showing not a whole bunch going on in our area. We do have some clouds to our north. It'll take a little while before the clouds start to work their way into our area, but I think by after midnight we'll really see the clouds take over and eventually this precipitation will be working its way in as a frontal system approaches right around dawn. You might actually find a few showers around. I think is a better chance for showers and more of a steady rain during the afternoon and evening. This frontal system works its way off to our east and we'll have an area of low pressure riding up along it, setting the stage for a widespread rain in southeastern New England. But areas east of Providence have the better chance of finding that steady rain. Let's take a look at it with our future cast. Here we are at seven o'clock Sunday morning. A few showers already in place. Nothing terribly widespread. Notice by afternoon and evening we're looking at a widespread rain, especially to the east of Providence and then overnight tomorrow night the skies clear out and we're looking at a quiet start to the week next week, but a pretty cold one overnight tonight about 39 degrees. The clouds thickening up showers possible toward dawn and then for your Sunday we're looking at the rain showers around, especially during the afternoon hours. We'll find more of that widespread rain, especially east of Providence. Now on Monday it's going to be a lot cooler. Tomorrow will be in the low 50s. On Monday, we'll start out in the upper 30s and then temperatures only getting up to about 44. And then those temperatures crash in the evening. Heading to Foxborough Monday evening, it's going to be a cold game. Temperatures in the 30s, but at least it'll be dry. Now on Tuesday, we are looking at some dry weather here in southern New England, that busy travel day on Wednesday. We're looking at sunshine here in southern New England. In fact, up and down the eastern seaboard, it looks like it'll be pretty quiet. Only potential travel trouble spots would be in the northern Great Plains, talking Montana into the Dakotas. Could be some widespread snow there, but most of the country looks like it'll be fairly quiet. Thanksgiving Day around here, sunshine, 53 degrees. Friday looks okay. You're going to be waiting in those lines. Temperatures will be in the 50s. And Saturday, maybe a few showers around, but nothing terribly widespread. You can always get the updated future cast, including an update about your travel future cast midweek. You can get that on our app at the App Store or the Google Play Store to search for WPRI. I take it you will not be having Thanksgiving in Montana or the Dakotas. Not this year, okay. no. Maybe next year. <laughs> to pay for that plane ticket. Yeah, okay, TJ, thanks. Still to come this evening, the past.